Mitch. Just uh, wanted to check in today. And oh, yeah. Good to see you today, Chris. Absolutely. And uh, I'm glad you guys are open again and everything's kind of going here. And just wanted to touch base and see what it's going to now look like. Obviously, we have mass on today. So yep. Yep, just, lots wondering, of... just wondering what some of these processes might look like. New things here at the shop. We're going to um, take in a reservation system or an appointment system. You have to go ahead and make a time to come in before no walk-ins only we have a nice clean shop here we got everything sanitized we got the nice sanitizer spray we spray everything down with and paper towels wipe everything down try to keep the high risk clients out of the shop until we'll have a special time set up for those guys to come in when nobody else is really around and uh, try to get in everybody in and out as uh, safely and quickly as possible oh absolutely Touches. So do we have to make appointments now, or all yep, this it, work? Yep, uh, you'll come up and make a reservation and put your name on the list, and then we'll call you in when it's your turn, have you wait out in the car, so we have nobody in the shop, so nobody's waiting in the waiting area. Keep it nice and clean. Oh, absolutely. So is there anything else that the state's making you guys do right now, or is this kind of just going to be business as usual, the way we have to, you know, now do all these extra procedures? for? Uh, the extra procedures as long as possible until things seem to calm down. Um, and then uh, they'll want everybody to do a self-check self at home as well to make sure your temperature is down where it needs to be and you're not showing any symptoms of fever or flu. Okay. Otherwise, okay. yeah, we're going to be just going like business as usual otherwise. Absolutely. So have you been getting a bunch of phone calls? Yeah, we've been, the numbers been, or the phone's been blowing up off the hook the last two weeks. It's been going steady through the whole time. Every time the governor kind of make a, we might open up on Friday. The day before the governor was talking about making his announcements, we'd always get a float up. Uh, flood of phone calls and try to make appointments and see what the process is. Oh, absolutely. And then, yeah, we had the phone, I think 4.30 or 5 this morning was the first call I had to see what time we're opening. So we've been going, <laughs> we'll be going pretty good this week. Normally we don't open on Mondays, but since we've been closed for three months, figured why not come in and make a special day out of it and be here for a few hours at least, maybe four or five o'clock. Oh, absolutely. To so how many, how many barbers get to be in the shop today? Uh, today we're just going to have one. Um, we're Actually, we lost a barber during this whole pandemic. He had to go find something else to go do. So now it's just Dustin, uh, me and my business partner. So he'll be in tomorrow okay. and then I'll be in today. Nice. Yeah. So are you guys going every other day then? No, I else? think uh, he didn't plan on opening up today. He had some other uh, stuff he had on his agenda to do. And I had figured since it was the first day that we haven't that we're legally allowed to be open in three months why not try just to go ahead and open up yeah and test out our system to see how things run smooth do a kind of a soft opening making each week to see if we need to change this appointment system or, or you know make sure everything stays clean and sanitized since we haven't done uh had a test run or anything with the new processes and we only had a week to try to set everything up so yep the way the governor was running things he uh was pretty vague on when we were allowed to open, so he gave us a week time to get masks and PPE and all that other gear that we needed to get on short notice. Okay. I know it's been quite a while since you've been open, so I guess the good question is, is how does it feel today? Oh, it feels great. I had I didn't sleep too much last night. I was just had everything going through my mind on whether how busy we're going to be, if we're going to be busy, if we're not going to be busy, because that's the other thing. I wasn't sure how many people in the public were still worried about the corona stuff and how many were just ready to go on with their day-to-day -day lives so yeah seems like so far we're on the going on with our day-to-day -day lives more than worried about the corona stuff which is nice oh absolutely well we think it's pretty awesome that you guys are open and uh, i think you put some great procedures in place here and i feel pretty comfortable getting a haircut myself so just want to let everybody know if you need a haircut just reach out to these guys it sounds like you can come down and put your name out uh, on a list there and just got to wait for your turn to get in here and should be kind of business as usual with some new safety procedures in place. So I uh, got Mitch here again today with the Jefferson Street Barbershop tour. So uh, thanks again for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure you get a haircut from the best barbers in town here. Appreciate that, Chris. Have a great day, guys.